All right. This is called Beekman 269. I don't know how to explain this, but I have a feeling that you'll know immediately what you're getting into shortly. So, yeah. I'm going to now start it up. And we're going to we're going to see together, okay? Okay. There you go. Many swears. Not, it's not made for babies, okay? So in order to go, I have to, I have to do an input. So it's gonna be a little hard. Okay, here we go. Okay. 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 Okay, I need you to understand something important. I didn't make this. How's volume, chat? How's, how's volume? Gallery, it says. We're good? Alright, I'm gonna start the game. Create a Beekman 269 game file on the meme card in slot B. Of course. The swoosh button. <laughs> it's Luigi time. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. Ah, I hope she made lots of spaghetti. All right, chat. What do you want? You want to play on file Turtwig, file Chimchar, file Pip Bloop? Well, it's uh, what do you think? What do you think? I'm I'm more of a, you know, I'm more partial to Chimichar myself. Pip Pip and Pip Bloop. It's pretty cool. Turtwig, you know, Turtwig's pretty cool. Okay, I see, I see a lot of pip bloop. Can we do pip bloop? Okay. Mm. Previously on Big Min. Okay. Scoob's sister and her associates, Bacho and Shrek, mm -hmm. were fired after they saved the universe from a power crazed bitch mm -hmm. who used a dark energy source to attempt taking over the world. Okay. Now without jobs, Gailey and Shrek have turned to get rich quick schemes to make loads of money. Mm -hmm. Let's see where they are now. <laughs> Come on, Shrek. We don't have all day. Why do we have to do this in some old abandoned warehouse anyways, Gaily? Because I'm 99% certain I'm doing this as illegal on planet Gayfruit. Hey, fair enough, I suppose. Alright, is everybody following along? Yes, there's a distinct lack of activity here. This is the place, Shrek. You got the stuff? I. Then let's get to it. Two hours later. Oh. Wow, I'm actually shocked that was as easy as it was. Ah, you could say that again, laddie. <laughs> we mining Bitcoin, boys. Well, I guess now there's nothing left to do except sit back and wait for the Bitcoin to roll in. I actually made myself a point just for the occasion. Wait, you did what? Don't drink the next farm, you idiot. You'll spill it, huh? <clears throat> Gaily, I've been drinking ale my whole life. Don't worry. Oops. See, it's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. There goes our last paycheck. Wait a second, Gaily. We can just buy new equipment. My apes! With what money? Dumbass. Remember that planet we went to before? The one with Beekman? BNF069? Yeah, but my brother already told me there's nothing of value anymore. They already found it all. That might not be true anymore. I recently heard something started appearing all around the galaxy. Who are you hearing that from, Shrek? They, they're called NFTs. No one knows what they are, but apparently they sell for a fortune. They just started showing up one day, and soon they were in every desolate wasteland of a planet in the galaxy. <laughs> that does sound like our best option right now. <laughs> but you aren't going. I don't trust you after this catastrophe you just caused. Then are, who are you going to take along with you? Hmm. Who's this lad? Thanks to agreeing to this, Scoob. I know you hate this place, but it's for a good cause. 
Yeah, of course. Anything to help fundraise my anti-frog charity group. Okay. <laughs> also, cool new ship. Thanks. Get ready, Gailey. This is it. We're about to take you off. Are a you are my dear gay motherfucker, but to everybody else, I'm just happy. Look, I've sucked one dick. That's all. That's all you need to suck. I can't read that. Reformed Highlands. Oh, it's a good ship. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty good ship. It's good stuff. What? Scoop, what the hell are you doing? I thought you were an established pilot. Good job, idiot. Gailey is gone. Probably fell off when you flew into that tree. This is the last time I ever let you drive. You told me how dangerous BNF 69 is. You gotta go, Scoob! Gailey is way more capable than you. We need her alive. Oh shit, what's that? Is that the Beekman? Oh! To beat the shit of a Todd! Oh shit, Beekman, what the hell is that thing about to do to them? Those Pikmin are bones. Encountered a Beekman before Scoob, but tried to hold B to call them over. These Beekman look different than others you've told me about, but try anyways. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Some awful noises. What's with that audio crunch? Oh, nice. Well, that's all the help you're getting from me. You do the rest. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna pop up in the readme real quick and see if that audio crunch is like something that's like fixable. One second. I don't know what that is. Readme console? No, no, no. Recent development. Got that. I did that. I did that. Yep, I did that. That's off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Enhancements. Okay. Okay. It's resolution. But I don't need 4K. I don't need filtering. Got that set. Okay. I don't see anything about audio, so I have to assume that's uh, intentional, but I can't really tell. Read the file bef beside this one. It's not a file. Okay. Oh, nice. Well, that's all the help you're getting from me. You do the rest. Okay. Oh, it's like... It's doing that. Whoa, shit. Wait. Chat. This is a whole different map. The fuck? a whole different map. Look at that. Look, there's an NFT over there. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's a horrible noise. For <laughs> Is that intentional? Oh. That can't be right. I don't... I don't think that's meant to be that, like, bad. Because that's awful. Chat. Anyone know how to fix, uh, audio stuff in the fish? No. I don't think- I don't think that's supposed to be happening either. How to fix that though? You fix that in configuration. Uh, audio, audio stretching. Hmm. Where would you go to fix something like this? 
Hold on, I need to make a... Um, how do you make a save state in Dolphin? Just so I don't have to play that whole thing over again. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Shot. Gotta fix the audio. How do we fix the audio? How do we fix this? Does anyone know how to fix this? Okay. I can't touch anything. I'm gonna have to close up the game before I can touch it. Hmm. Volume? No. Cannot adjust that for some reason. I'm looking. I'm looking. Clog overrides off as it should be. Okay. It's not intended to be that bad. Okay, so how do I how do I fix this? Why is this happening? That's what I need to figure out right now. Why is it crusting like that? Um, I followed the readme. I have the file. But what's causing that? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this quickly. Uh, let me close it all down. Let me close it down. Okay. Right click properties. Um, I have that set. What usually affects audio in here in like the game configuration chat? I have dual core enabled, MMU. The only thing I turned off was emulate disk speed and that's because I was told to. Should I change, what should I change to fix this kind of thing? I have the latest version, so like, hold on. Maybe I pop it open real quick. Go back to my, uh, go back here. Go to my history. Where is it? Okay, hold on. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. Weird. I don't see anyone having that issue. No. 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 Okay, nobody seems to be having the same issue I am having. So, that's currently... That's currently annoying. Dual core, let's go auto. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me pop up in the readme again. Let me see. Okay. Okay, all right. Unchecked, yep, 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 yep. Fix the game's lagginess. Okay, I did that. Yep, yep, yep. Turn that off. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. What the heck? No, I don't see... There's not a single thing in here. There's not a single thing in here specific to audio. Audio. Let's put on the recommended one, cause I have the wrong. I don't have the recommended one on for some reason. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this fixes it. Let me see. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, the state doesn't work. Oh, no. Well, this is... Okay, well. 21. Okay, chat. Well. It's so fine. See, I don't hear it here, right? I don't hear anything. Yo, is that a Fortnite? Is that V-Bucks? Okay. There's no audio crust here, right? You don't- I don't hear anything at all. Okay. Previously. You can skip this. See, so we're fine. Nope. No crust? No crust? Give it a second. Give it a second. Chat, where have I heard that noise before? Oh, it, isn't it a uh, Beta Mario from Mario 64? Okay. Yeah, fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed it. I don't know why my audio was set to the wrong thing, but... Alright, we're good, chat. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Now, to be fair, if you said that that was a stylistic choice, I would have believed you. But... It didn't seem like it. Okay. So we got... Wait. Chat. Isn't this Mario Golf noises? I'm not crazy, right? The leaves are made of cats, Moe's, and Luigi's. Okay. Alright. Alright. No, I'll get him. Watch. Come here. I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> he takes four. These bone boys have, uh, have weed leaves. What even was that thing? Why is everything in this place so quirked up? Anyways, while you were doing that, I found Gaily. I suspect she is thriving. She should make her way here soon. Press Y to check in with her scoob. Okay. A little... Amongi. <laughs> Why am I playing as... as... What? Looks like you're doing better than your brother. Honestly, I'll just leave you to this. You have the situation handled. I did notice when you picked an onion nearby. See if you can find it. Press start, pause. We need to check the unclosed instruction book. Instruction book? Okay, tactical nuke. Uh, onion, your boys, lazy motherfuckers. Zoom, look and zoom. Okay, alright. This is my shit. It's all missing. Alright. And this is the menu. Continue, go to sus, 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 suset. Okay. I, why do I hear a groink? Are you playing? Why do I hear a groink, dude? It'd be level one. Chat, what am I standing on? <laughs> what am I standing on? <laughs> she makes squid noises. It's like actually customized map. It looks cool. It does. That's like a real game here, chat. That's, that's a real game here. Yo, is that Waluigi? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, isn't that one of those trophy things we're looking for on this planet? What do we call these again? NFTs? What a stupid fucking name. Wow. Like, what even are these? What do the non-fungible trophy even mean? Oh, I get it. Anyways, we can focus on what after you meet back up with your brother. Get to it. It's non-fungible trophy. A, a monkey. <laughs> I 
Their their death spirits are bulborbs on bicycles. Okay. All right. I see. I see. I see. I gotta go get to the onion. Good slap noise. Good slap noise. The Kirby inhale. <laughs> There's a warp pipe. More bags. Is that uncanny incredible? Am I seeing that right? Is that uncanny Mr. Incredible on that onion? <laughs> oh hey, you found it finally. Nice. Nice, good noises. <laughs> From the looks of it, this is the spot of a brand new Beekman species. What are you waiting for, Gailey? Get your work out. You meet up. You can press with half an A button press. Okay, I can do that. Yo. Boneman. Oh cool, a new Bikman speech. I'll do a little self-analysis to find his traits. Guess you got this one too late and it died before you even plucked it, a dumbass. Scan the decay that it has the ability to survive being burned. Yeah, no skin. Makes sense. It also may have other abilities. I'm, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough for now. We should just... Oh shit, Gailey, look out. It's coming right for you. Do something. Well, see you later. <laughs> see you later. This is Pikmin 4. No, you know what, chat? Pikmin 4 looks great. I'm actually really excited for it. I, well, I like what I saw in the trailer. And it just seemed like it incorporated a ton of elements from Pikmin 1 or 2 and, and 2. I don't have enough Pikmin to lift this. Oh, right, right. The sussies. You can, like, there's, like, glow Pikmin, whatever that is. You can go out at night for some reason. Uh, there's cave systems again. They've incorporated the multiplayer feature as, like, a core mechanic to the, the main game. Oh, chat, this is Sticker Brush Symphony. All oh, the custom music in these is also quite good. Yeah. The rock Pikmin are back, the wing Pikmin are back, yeah. Some Mario tutorial music. Why is the Ouija nut on that flower? You know, huh. Gaily, the onion just shot out a few Bikmin seeds. I think that you should pluck them. With the help of the Bikmin, we can collect all these NFTs in no time. Yeah, they also put well, Pikmin 1 and 2 HD on Switch Store, which is like, whoa. Kind of insane. Those are good grabs, yeah. Just classic old Pikmin 2. But no, I'm really excited for it. I actually noticed, uh, I was talking about Andrew uh, at work a little bit, but they, when they showed off a couple... They showed off a couple locations, and you could see some enemies in like the background. And I noticed that uh, the Pearly Clam Clam was there from Pikmin 1. And in another one they showed off, you could see the Armored Cannon Beetle. The Armored Cannon Beetle hasn't been in, in the game since Pikmin 1. So I'm thinking, okay, that's cool to see he's back. But the Pearly Clam Clam is like a really weird choice, right? That's a weird one to bring back because it's so specific. And it makes me wonder, like, is it just that they're bringing back and if they're bringing back enemies from different games like that, then there's a chance that maybe we get the prog round two, and I think that'd be really cool to see. I would love to see Pikmin 4's rendition of the Smoky Prog. Because that enemy that enemy fucks. Straight up. It just fucks. And you don't fuck with it. The Mamuta's there. Well, I mean the Mamuta's in every game anyway, but. The Smoky Prog is related to the Bermuda. I'm very interested in what the game's gonna be. Like, you collect treasures, you collect parts, you rescue crew members, you get a dog. Still kinda iffy on the dog, but I'm sure it won't be that bad. But there's a lot there that I'm really, uh... I'm really interested in. And yeah, a lot of, like, the areas kinda look... Like, the whole idea of the planet is, is like, it's abandoned Earth, right? planet's uh it's our planet but it's been 
been, uh, whatever happened to it. Human race is extinct or whatever. So, there's, like, level design that's more accurate to that, right? 42? Hmm? 621? Oh my god, okay. A hundred. Oh, I gotta find where to go right now. I need to- I need to beat the tutorial. I'd like to see- yeah, I'd like to see another Wraith show up. Okay. Well, no one said what the apocalypse was, right? No one really knows what it was specifically. Maybe up here? Yeah. Should have checked this one first. That's not where you were at all. Okay. The race are the closest thing to humans that still exists, yeah. The plasma wraith and the water wraith. Okay, wrap it up, Skittle Squad. We have NFTs to steal. Go and grab one of that stump. And surprised you haven't died yet, Scoob. Just keep that wave right now, please. Okay. You didn't bring your Pikmin with you, you jackass. Right, because I dismissed them all. Chat, the top of that stump is Thomas the Tank Engine. Just in case anyone was wondering. So yeah, from what I understand, for the very limited amount of research I did on this game, is that it's, as you can see, it's got some funny business going on, no doubt. But like, it's actually got more aspects to it that is like a real game on top of it. So, it's more than just, it's more than just like a one-off ship post kind of thing, you know? And I always like playing Pikmin. So if this has got some good gameplay to it on top of its ship posty nature, best of both worlds for me. And I'll probably, I could probably finish this before, uh, Pikmin 4 anyway. Pikmin 4 comes out around the end of July, and I will be playing it yet. I really do want to play that game. Very excited for it. Very, very excited for it. Just a lot of the trailer stuff they showed off was great. Which, speaking of that chat, uh, I didn't get to talk about the Direct at all, because it happened yesterday. But, what'd you guys think of it? I thought it was pretty solid. Poisonally. Mario turns into an elephant. Pretty cool stuff. There was a lot of good stuff, yeah. I was skipping around because the, the VOD was an hour and 11 minutes long and I had a 30 minute lunch break. So I had to jump around. There we go. I had to jump around and I accidentally skipped into the Mario RPG reveal. I, I was just skipping and suddenly I was on Peach in the Meadow and I was like, holy shit. Like I couldn't believe my eyes for that for a second there. And then like, yep, as expected, big magical flash, and it's like, yo, Mario RPG. ba 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 baum But that was very exciting, and they showed off a lot, too. They showed off a lot. I'm wondering about that game, because they didn't really, like... Scoop. Scoop. They didn't really, uh, like, hide, or put it in a spot on its own. They kind of just, like, leaned into it, right? But then they were like, by the way, new Peach game on the horizon, that's cool. And then Dark Moon's getting the Switch version, which is neat. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I didn't even for a second think it was going to be a Switch Online thing. I saw it and I was like, no way. Like, I was already, like, in gear to get excited. I'm very curious. It looks very faithful with what they showed off. They even had little things on it that, like, indicated you couldn't block certain attacks. That was cool. Ooh, what's this? Flagrant Lout. 269. Look at that. Rotato. It's good stuff. Awesome, cool. That's like one out of how many things we need, and it took you that long. <clears throat> and now let's just take a breather. We can also check out that weird journal that Gailey found. I'm inside. We can do more tomorrow. All right. I sneeze. Chat, what's that frog from? <laughs> so 
Super Mario Wonder is very interesting. Because Wonder is not the word I'd use to describe it after seeing what they, they showed me. You know what I mean? Hmm. I see the president in the sky. I see cloud. I see cloud. Oh, I get it, because there's cloud. Yeah, there's clouds in the sky. I, I get it. Holy shit, look how bright that font is. Omega glowy font. I it's like a bean. 24 dudes. What is that image on the side? Shroom. Okay. <laughs> My Discord notifications. Hey, Gailey, really sorry I fucked up the Bitcoin generator. I uh, hope you'll forgive me. I settle this over a pint, all right, after you get all those NFTs, of course. Don't save, I fucked up. Save, okay. Don't touch the memory, the meme card. The game is being saved, okay. What is this world map? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bought at Walmart, one. I see the Blorbs, Scoob, Berserk, the Piclopedia. The Piccolopedia, even. <laughs> Pods. Bickman lost. Bitcoin Valley abomination slain. Red cap dwarf. The strange member of the spore void mushroom family is bipedal and wears clothes. I'm not sure how these creatures can be so well evolved yet so simple minded. But well, there's anything traveling the universe has taught me is to expect the unexpected. I always pick Toad and Mario Kart. It doesn't stop me from killing these things. There's something sad about seeing one of my favorite characters go belly up and get carried off to his grave. Besides, all these things do is look around for scraps and wait around to die. That's life to them. That's all there is. It's depressing. Like, geez, get a life, you loser. Just like Gailey says to me occasionally. Side note, we found a species of frog bickman in the water by our landing site. There were so many of them, we decided to use them as bait to get closer to the monsters on this planet. Yay. Okay. Crewmate. Oh. Tomo Gus Beetle. The Tomo Gus Beetle is a harmless creature that only exists to perform tasks. Small menial things such as cleaning up debris, building walls, and breaking down bridges. If trained, I feel like it could easily help me clean up my shop, though I won't be seeing my shop anytime soon with my few device stolen. Creatures of this planet seem nothing like the ones from my home dimension. I'll have to document them in the makeshift notebook. That's one way to start a trip. Crewmates are definitely a new fauna to the solar system. They're one of the most pathetic monsters, but it's a little scary encountering it. You never know when you'll see it, and even if it is a crewmate in the first place. Gailey picked up some notebooks you saw lying around near the uh, first NFT we found. It looks like it's been used recently. The writing signs all outdated cold fight script. Luckily, I'm able to use that built-in translator that Ouija has to see what was written. There's also some sketches of monsters beside the paragraphs of text, so I think there's some kind of notes about wildlife on this planet. A Bellet Bosey. Pellet Poser. Today has been a very eventful day uh, so far. I appear to have laid on a strange planet in another dimension after a situation involving an otherworldly thief went awry. Thankfully, I've studied dimensional travel enough to be familiar with some of the surroundings. These planet plants appear to be a parallel dimension equivalent of the Pellet Posey from my home dimension, so I've often named them appropriately. As for what I'll do now, I have no other options than to track down a method of escape from this planet. It's a good thing I did all this at survival training when I was a lad. So like that shit is whack. If all the all the wrong numbers, it triggers my OCD. The OCD I actually have. Gately says I fake it because I don't have better things to think about. Think about then prioritize a bunch of important things like which two pellets going to the correct onion. I think stuff like that is very crucial to this mission. Clova. Trifacer. I formed a theory about the plants of this planet. I believe that the soil of this planet is exceedingly rich in nutrients. Due to this, I find it easy to believe that the odd-looking fauna that coats the landscapes of this planet is the result of absurd overabundance of necessary. Necessary plant nutrients and vitamins. It's only if I were a plant, maybe I could still try some of the dirt here as an appetizer. If it isn't my three favorite fictional characters, well, I enjoy them, but don't get as much screen time as the original cast. Luroji. Orange Mistress. A simply intriguing plant like other plants I've seen on this planet. It appears to grow in spectacular saturated colors. The patterns on its leaves almost look like faces. It's likely an evolutionary advantage that scares away herbivores that would otherwise consume the species. Note to self, does not smell like oranges. Weed lol. Cannabis. I was recently attacked by some strange half-bird, half-grub-dog hybrid species that I've named the Basilporb. 
taking one down with nothing but my wits and survival knife, I was badly wounded. I was sure I would succumb to the pain of my injury, but thankfully I noticed this plant species growing nearby. Back on my home plant, this plant more commonly known as cannabis indica. It's used as a medicinal pain reliever. It seems that nearby creatures also feed on these plants, which leads to the formation of vibrant green pellets that are processed in such a way that I can easily use them for my own health benefits. These things are everywhere on this planet. Even the Bikmin seem to be related to this plant in some way. Okay. NFT collection. AI's haikus. Oh, Waluigi, so bright yet so queer is he to create all life. Okay, thanks. This thing looks like a humanoid version of a Waluigi Wog. Oh, okay. No clue how an NFT exists of it, but it's the first one I found. I want to get this trip over with as soon as possible, but Gailey wants to take her time for some reason. Guess I can't rush this. Also, I've been using the built-in AI of the ship to make cool haikus for the NFTs as we list them on the open sea. It's a little quirky, but it should work well enough to get people interested in them. A Waluigi Wog, huh? Keep suffering. <laughs> a Waluigi Wog. It's an interesting uh, one. Where we drop... <laughs> Here. Reformed Highland. Okay. We're gonna unyacht. Alright. Rise and shine, assholes. We have NFTs to collect that onion follows here. Use it. Okay. Uncanny Incredible. I googled its name. I saw someone playing it, and I was like, what? So I had to check it out. Gang, what does that say? Gang members. Onion. <laughs> Alright, squad. We gotta get the- we gotta get some more boys. Is that a Kermy? It only takes two. <laughs> it's good stuff. The hell are you? What are you? A six. Okay. That crone's definitely something. Has to be. Okay. I bet this won't backfire. Nope. If I'm not looking, it's not on screen. It's not on screen if I'm not looking. This is an age old technique. What's that? Is that weed? What's that? It's a green pellet. See, I told you. Why do I hear sonic rings? Teletubby's son, baby, is the sun. <laughs> so it is. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Okay. So now, chat, uh... Yeah, back to the direct. A lot of Pikmin 4 stuff, obviously. To be honest, there wasn't much outside of the Mario stuff I was interested in, but that's to be expected. But the Mario stuff looked pretty cool. What? Chat, why do they have... Why do they have Sonics on their head? What's up with that? You see that? Well, they got Sonics on their head. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Just good noises all around. That was actually hard to do. Chat, my tricep hurts. My right tricep, I blew it out. And I need to, need to rest it. I actually got up really early today. Monster Joker 2 on the DS. Mo uh, oh, there's PFT, yeah. Persona 5 Tactica. Uh, there was Dragon Quest, the new Dr Detective Pikachu. I'm just interested in the Mario remake, or the Mario RPG remake, and Mario Wonder looks very goofy. 
When Mario turned to an elephant, I made a loud and not, like, good noise in the break room, and there was at least two other people in there. Get him. I got 60 bone boys. Yeah. Squat up. Squat up. He turned to an elephant. I was like, I just, I made a very audible noise. Kermies. I think these are bull bears because of the way that they react so quickly. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh. Well, at least they were moving it. All right, I'm still looking around. I need a lot of big men. Crewmates. Oh shit, imposters! <laughs> imposters! Oh, it's perfect! It's actually perfect! Oh yeah, there's a new WarioWare. <clears throat> yeah. There wasn't a WarioWare on Switch, no. The latest WarioWare was WarioWare Gold. Yo! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh shit! Holy impact zone! What the? F How do I fight this guy? He just killed six of my Pikmin! I'm not gonna call them. Oh shit! Bro, that enemy is fucking dangerous! 69. Okay, I have that. That's so hard! To, like, it's so strong! What kind of meme shit is that? That wasn't a meme! That was just mean! <laughs> he killed everyone! There was one on Switch. It was called Get It Together? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. My favorite part about that was when they were like, you know, hold the Joy-Cons. Oh, the ring sound is them turning into songs. But now they're devolving into buds. Okay. Uh, they, they were like, use the Joy-Cons to shake, and they showed the minigame with the soda bottle, and the soda bottle is just fucking, you know, they just popped off. Oh, I can do 42. That, that's... Chad, I feel like that game is gonna be a little, a little hindered by its, uh... Requested control scheme. But that's just me. I don't know what this thing is. We'll find out at the end of the day, I suppose. Boys? Grab it? Okay. Is that a leaf? Oh, it's a weed! Dude, weed! Bro, it's unkillable! You gotta land on its head. Yeah, there you go. Yo! 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 It explodes into that good shit! Come here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Yo, that Pikmin just exp- Oh, we hit the onion cap. Hmm. 
Ah, here's the problem. Too many Bikmen. You know what they say, all onions make Bikmen sprouts. I understand. Can it bussy? Okay. I regret the words that come out of my mouth sometimes, but only sometimes. Only sometimes. Get over here and pick, damn it. <laughs> but back to the point, chat. The direct was pretty solid. There's a lot of fluff, a lot of stuff, I whatever. But I think M Mario's eating good this year. And it's about time Mario's eating good. Mario hasn't really had its own, like, uh, standalone game in a while. I'm missing... Where's that lazy motherfucker? <clears throat> there he is. A 2D Mario I wasn't really that excited for. But... I gotta admit, like, it looks pretty cool. So, I'm down. I'm down for that. I am. Did this require 100? It did. Okay, well. I might as well press it down now. I can't do this. My tricep is hurt. <sighs> it has been a while since the 2D Mario. You're right. Okay, that's just for future endeavors. No! Stop eating! Stop! Bro, he just chomped four, 14 of them! He didn't... He didn't stop! It just didn't stop, man! It didn't stop! The blood shit didn't stop! I couldn't stop it! I'm not... I'm not alright! What the... Yo, sniff it! All right, it's fine, it's fine. Just a reskin. Just a reskin. What the fuck is that? What is that creature? Get him. Beat his ass. He's eating my berries! Oh, motherfucker. Bro, it's skedaddling! It's a school tonight! <laughs> you take the moon, and you take the sun! Okay. Come on. I wonder if I can make it to the warp pipe in time. Maybe I can. I'll give it a shot. We need everybody though. Oh. Hey boy. Nice berry. Piss. Hey, Scoob, I think we can whip up some homemade Alfredo sauce using these berries. It's a special family recipe. I just need about four more of them if you can find them. Oh, thank God they lowered the berry count from ten. Ten is just... Who's got time for that, man? My Pikmin are downgrading. There you go. Is that everyone? That's everyone. All right. What's on their head? What the hell's? Oh, troll faces. They're slow as shit. Okay. Homeboy really fell behind. It's right over there. I can get it. I think I already have the speed shoes, which is why it's so noticeable.
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Scoop up the Bikmin. Okay. We made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. Scoob, look, there's a pipe over there. Both of you seem too terrified to go inside. I don't think we have any other options right now, so I implore you to jump in. I'm sure we'll be able to make it through the place with ease. Approach the pipe and press half the name button to jump in. I'll see I can you to help you determine what the cave contains. Wild Bickman buried NFTs, poisonous mushrooms, bodies of water. What the hell over here, you shithead? Overflowing hole. There's poisonous mushrooms in here, according- if I'm reading that right. I'm- Yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, we enter. We entering, boys. We entering. Save. Okay. Okay, alright. <laughs> Yo. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Good. Looks great. Nice hole. I'm getting bad vibes from this place, Scoob. Detecting some very froggish undertones. Frog. Well, okay. Music got intense. How do I chat? How do I fight this fucker? How did that do not die? Where are you going? Get the hell over here! What were you doing? What even was that? Bro, these troll ones are... What are they doing? They didn't die. Why are they dead? That doesn't even make any sense! <laughs> Why are they dead? It'll die up there. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Yo, I need some of that green shit. Where'd the animal go? Oh. Five money. Okay. All right, ready? Here comes the green goo. Wait, wait, what? The Pikmin that drank the green goop instantly devolved into an insect. <laughs> it appears to have trolled the Pikmin. This does not bode well for you. I would advise avoiding this liquid at all costs, but you suck at that clearly, dumbass. Perhaps we could find a Pikmin that is immune to this gross green goop in the future. I just fucked myself. Oh, I just fucked myself. Omega fucked it. Oh, look at that shit pipe. Oh, it's disgusting. There's a card up there. Why am I only now getting the cutscene for this? Scoob, this isn't a- it's a frog. Okay, sure, we can try selling these things too. Who knows, some of them might be really valuable. Okay. 
I've been trolled. Not again, dude. Not again. Fuck you guys! Fuck you! Ah, oh, it's so annoying! <laughs> Why are they like this? Oh. <laughs> Don't touch the goo. You. <sighs> no, stop drinking the goo. Please, no more goo. I've had it with goo. What is. It's a Yu Gi Oh card, but not actually. Do you think this is a motherfucking game? Memory jogger. Can I zoom in? I can't... I can't zoom in right now, chat. Maybe later. Ooh. Crunchy. Alright. Come on, stupid bastards. That's just great. Looks like someone put a block in this pipe, I guess, as we let the Bikman take care of that. Man, everything is just easier when you get others to do it for you. I love free labor. I need you to beat the shit out of it. Thanks. Lovely. Penetrate deeper with your Bikman. Ah! Those were my options. I simply chose to do so. <sighs> Overflowing hole, sus level two. I understand. Ooh, we got some turn of forest. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's some good music. I love this theme. It's a good theme. Two whole doll ears. Is that a texture? It is a texture. What we got here? Pink? Scoob, look, a peach colored flower. It seems very fleshy and very inviting for the Pikmin to be thrown inside. Okay. New Pikmin chat. New Pikmin. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it's a mushroom. Incredible. A shroom Pikmin. It is tiny but looks distinctly erect. It seems aerodynamic. <laughs> I don't think you've encountered these before, right, Scoop? So it's gotta be a new type. My scanners have said these Pikmin can be thrusted higher into the air than others. They also appear to resist gross stuff. Try them out when you get the chance. Yo, <laughs> oh! ah! so he do be flying though. Alright. Sup, buddy? Die. Give me your load. Okay. That was it? That's it? Where's the treasure? No treasure? All right, we got new innovative Pikmin types that Nintendo dare never try. You know why? Because Nintendo is weak. They'd never understand the needs and wants of their consumer base. Oh wait, there's another sub-level, that's why. 
Okay. Alright, I don't see any treasure. That's fine. Well, I was just thinking, like, Emergence Cave is for two floors normally. But this one actually isn't. You should be able to just do this, right? I have a missing, though, there from my ghosty Pikmin. Hmm. It's okay to laugh. It's Look, the texture is OS Komodo. No, sorry, not OS Komodo. OS Frog. The floor texture is the frog emote. You can use it right now in chat. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to have Pikmin with you to go down with all of them. It's only when entering that they have to be directly with you. There's the poison gas. Okay. 15 of them boys. Okay, well, I'm not using these guys to fight this battle because I can't make them above ground, it seems. Because there's a bunch of fucking Waluigi's on the other side of this fence and I don't understand how to fight them. Congratulations. Looks like the Pikmin are strong enough to knock down these walls. That wall appeared to be blocking off the second half of this place. Now we're in true frog territory. It seems that you both have bad memories of this place. You can only imagine what horrors you could have seen here before. I don't- I don't even know what's going on. God, stupid bastards! What are you doing?! How are you not dead?! I don't understand! That first one killed like 15 Pikmin alone, and now I- Stop this. Stop this behavior. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> They're giggling at me, man. They're giggling at me. You are... What even just happened to me? Yep. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Who even died? Don't grass skirt chase me. Stop that! Emergency member <laughs> screaming. If you scream and panic with me, you may be able to save them. Stop! Bro! How did you even get over there? It's, it's doing the fucking Patrick cough from the Sandy episode. <laughs> Help him! <laughs> Help him! I don't. Did I get him? I think I got him. <laughs> okay. All right. There's a frog. It's all kinds of frog-related behavior going on here. These mushroom fellows are kind of cool, though. You know, they're very mushroom-like. Very, very, very...
very mushroom. Yep, definitely, definitely very mushroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, no issues here. Over here, please. I ain't using them to fight against the enemy I can't solve. I'd sooner trust these troll assholes. Yes, kill. Yes, kill. None of that made any sense, but okay. Oh, I know you. You're that enemy from Kribby64, who's like the Waddle Dee. Uh, what's your name? I think it's like NZ or something. I don't remember. Hmm. I'm having fun. I'm having fun, chat. This is... This is weird. It's very goofy. But there's like... You know, it's like its own thing. You know what I mean? Despite its silliness, there's like an actual game here. Spectral Entity. Yo! Yo! Look at that technique. Look at that technique. Incredible. Get it in there. Frog. Alright, we're moving on. Get in there. Yeah, it's goofy, but it's like actually pretty competent a game so far at the same time. I like it. I actually really like it. Level four. <laughs> the fucking keys one? What do you mean keys one? Slow your roll. What does that mean? Keys one. What? What is that? Excuse me? What is that? Oh, they're dweevils. They're dweevils. They're dweevils. They're wild the weevils. <laughs> he's fire. Yeah, he's, he's fire. He's got the fire outfit. Crumply. I guess I should have expected as much given the, the rest of this level, huh? Ow. I gotta be more careful. Put that down, you shithead. Screaming, dude. <laughs> amazing. Simply amazing. Get that one too, please. Destroy the child. Uh, so chat, let me tell you about my day, because I had a good day. So, as you know, last night, uh, I went to the gym. And I went over to Christian's and I did a stream with him. And by the, when I got home, I was very tired. So I didn't do very much, but I was supposed to do an art session with Ferdy. Uh oh. I was supposed to do an art session with Ferdy, but I couldn't, like, I went to bed at 11 last night. But I just couldn't really stay awake. I was having rough, a rough time of it. But. I ended up getting up at 7 o'clock. That's right, you heard me right. 7 a.m. And uh, I asked Ferdy, like, if I get up at 7, will you be available for your, like, whatever that is in your time? He said, yep. So I got up at 7. We did a little session. We did a practice. He showed me how to draw drills. I'm sure you can understand why he showed me that. But he showed me how to draw drills. Uh, we were just doing a little practice, a little warm-up. 
because it's been a couple days since we've done anything. And after that, I went to the gym with my buddy. We did shoulders today. Actually, we did shoulders today. Hold on, what's this Dweeble then? This must be the poison one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Well, I got home at around 11. I got a chicken swarm of poutine. A chicken swarm of poutine. And it was delicious. And then we resumed from there. Nice. Well, you kind of deserve that. These, these troll fuckers. Terrible. But after that, we resumed our session. And I'm happy to say that I have completed my cheer bow. She's all done. And I, I'm gonna post her after the stream. Someone died. Oh my god. Get out here, damn it. Oh, he had the key. People, no, people are dying. That's not the time for that. People are dying. Oh, hey, look, a key. We can't do much else in this forest. You should collect it. Pikmin are literally dying in the cutscene. Bro. Nice fucking job. <laughs> nice fucking job. That wasn't even my fault. That's bullshit. Alright, come here. I've heard that noise before. I don't know where, but I've heard it before. Bro, I love the Patrick cough noise. Okay. That's Undertale, okay. Zero, it's worth zero. Key to the next floor. <laughs> hmm. This key is of no value to us, it seems, but wait, look. It opened a pipe. Look, a pipe that continues down to the cave has appeared. Let's dive down and find more NFTs. I've found one so far this entire cave. So yeah, chat, uh, we resumed. We uh, resumed when I got home and I finished Cherno. Cherno is done. And we finished at about 20 to four. So we were busy. We were busy. And there's still some aspects, of course, that... What's that? There's still some aspects to her that I did not get, like, perfect, but that's okay. I'm happy with the, uh, what I did. But, yeah, it took a while. But he taught me a whole bunch of different tricks and stuff, so... I'll show them off when I post it, and then I'll... When we get to the next one. Uh, which we're gonna start tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, chat, we're gonna do, uh... We're gonna do Lily White. That's the plan. Another simple character. I'm gonna incorporate everything I learned and then maybe try and add some new stuff to this one. Simple designs. But that's what I've done all day. <clears throat> that's what I did all day. It took a long time, but I'm happy that I finished it. And it's, and it's gonna look quite different from the Rumia, I think. Okay, well, I'm scared to look at this thing's face. I can't separate my incels. Do the- I can- I can separate them like this.
There we go. There we go. Good noise. Productive day. I had a good day. <laughs> Spent so long on that, though. But, you know, the more I do it, the faster I'll get, for sure. But I'm really happy with the outcome. And I'm looking forward to showing it off. I am. I think it turned out pretty good for the most part. But you'll probably see some aspects to it that are like, oh, but you know, it's fine. Because everything, anything you see on that that you go, oh, chat, trust me, I went, oh, twice as much. Oh, that's, that's awful. Also, this is Quasi's theme. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's gross! Look at its eyes! Oh. Uh, it's, it's so wrong. One more set. Chat, look at the piss pipe over there. You see that? What? 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 Hey, how did you get here? Isn't that your old ship, Scoob? <clears throat> oh, you gave it to Gailey, so it doesn't really explain how it ended up here. I see, so Gailey says it was stolen by some power-crazed bitch. I guess that whoever stole Rosa must also have beheaded her and left her body buried in this hole. Might as well collect it, it could be worth something still. It's got no head chat. No! No, you can't do that! Who do you think you are?! What are you- Oh, you're an asshole. That's <laughs> what you are. You're kidding me, dude. Okay. Does it not take... Why does it take 60? You're punishing me for Okay. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get it. You did another one! No! <laughs> what are you doing to me? I hate you. I hate you. Oh my god. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. I swear to fuck. Don't do it again. You did it again! Just get in there. Get in there. Do you kill my Pikmin or not? Nothing you do makes any sense. I hate you. No more. No more. No more. You, there's not even enough room for you to drop another one on me. How is I gonna get in there? 
That's not even possible for it to get in there. Space elevator. Fuck these frogs, seriously. Oh, you collected her torso. Nice, doesn't worth much, but there's something of note. It looks like there's still data in her files pointing to an area called Toad's Tundra. I suspect there could be NFTs in that area, though I think we should give it a new name. How about Bup's Bluff? Yes, I have your no objections. Let's get out of this cave already. No more frogs. No more frogs. <clears throat> At least they didn't drop during the boss fight. This pipe is pissing with extreme force. I believe that riding it can take you to the surface. I'm sure you've been pissed on at least once, so just jump in already. Okay. I don't see any opening up there. Return to Twitter with your Pikmin. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cave complete. 14 dead. Shit we got, lol. It's a classic theme, man. Yeah. What? Slender Man? How long has he been back there? I didn't even notice. Ew, you're all gross and covered in piss. I should have thought that through earlier. Oh well, either way, congrats on not dying. Thanks, G. Good job taking out that froggish monster, Gailey. Scuba, I expected less from you, surprisingly, so good job as well. You say you're tired, you wanna go break already? Wow, you two are lazy. We'll never get anything done at this rate. Get back out there. My scans of the area show that you can still do more, now get back to it. No, I can't. There's like five seconds left. That's not a number. That's a, okay, I guess it was a seven. Six? Five, why was that five sideways? That four is huge, back up, Jack. Three, okay. Two. It's a normal ass one. Eight all. Okay. Alright, the Mushroom Boys are getting in the ship. They are my white Pikmin after all. Never do combat with them. Oh, I can't read the re wait to read the Piccolopedia on these guys. Chat, did I just see Minecraft Steve in the background there? The fuck we do today? Crypto wallet. Hell yeah, brother. Nice. 21 died. 14 to explosion. Oh, man. So, Scoob, you've been in the planet too, right? I wonder how much changed since your first visit five years ago. Man, time flies. Oh, well. Bikmin. It's a sequel game. The King's there, Todd's there, Bup's Bluff. There's another portal. Cockatrice. Dozing Basil Borb. Basil Borb appears to stem from a genetic mutation in the genes of a grub dog. <clears throat> it's unknown whether these mutations are man-made or resulting from crossbreeding with another species. Snake-like tail, the beast acts as a second set of eyes. Give me the upper hand when approach from the front. Tag him in the back is necessary if you want to make it out of an exchange alive. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like the purple one. Oh, wait. A cockatrice is a mythical beast, essentially a two-legged dragon, wyvern, or serpent-like creature with a rooster's head. Or at least that's what it says on the Wikipedia. To me, cockatrices are the sleeping giants that are way too big for how common they are. These things can and will eat all the Pikmin of the party like it's nothing. They're also very noisy sleepers. Kermling. Although initially identified as a juvenile member of the amphituber, 
family. Groundbreaking new research indicates this creature is in fact another odd chimera. It seems that despite not being true amphitubers, wally hops and other creatures treat them as such. With this in mind, it makes sense that I've spotted them hanging out in amphituber breeding sites. Strangely, they enjoy the company of grub dogs and tend to follow them around. Perhaps they are originally relatives of the grub dog family. Kermitlings are a resilient bunch. They're always busy muttering to themselves about their performance for the next upcoming episode of The Muppet Show. I've heard one do this whole routine with him and Animal up until I walked closer and he got so scared from the shock he screamed and sounded nothing like Kermit. On my first visit to this planet, the Kermitlings had arms, but I guess in many years since last visiting this planet, the species evolved past the need for them. Okay. Savior, snuff it. Oh, I just noticed, chat, the background is Gmod. It's like... <laughs> it's like the fucking uh, sandbox level. Limbless Mascron. The Mascron gets its name from the large white mask it wears on its face. No one ever has been able to see what lies beyond the mask. Some theories about a state that hides its face due to the regrets it has. But I have regrets all the time without something covering my face, so I'm not sure what the point of the mask is. These guys are interesting. They can be really helpful when Bikmin get trolled, but if you have Bikmin that you don't want to be blown by this guy, you either have to separate them all at once or cope with it and lose some dignity. While Gailey was away, I was base plucking Bickman Sprout that saw a sprout grow a blue thing on its stem, but then it grew past it because I didn't pluck it in time. Maybe we should try and get some of those blue ones, they might be useful. Okay, so that can reset the that imposter. Benting Tomogust Beetle. Bro, it's making the noise. It appears that the Tomogust Beetles aren't so harmless after all. I saw a group of them attempting to build a wall, and when I walked by, I expected to be ignored, but out of nowhere, they lunged towards me and attacked. Guess everything on this planet isn't as nice as I'd hoped. Though if this really is the home dimension of the person who stole my pew device, I should have seen this coming. I knew it! I didn't say anything to anyone about it, but I knew it was an imposter. Don't blame me for losing of any Bickman here, because I knew. I just didn't say anything because I was distracted. Gailey wouldn't let me live it down for screaming, though. Smoking warm. Oh! Wait, I think I've seen that meme before. Doping ran worm. Just when I thought uh, I had found a consistent source of edible matter on this planet, I heard a terrifying noise from behind me. I was sure it was terrifying. Creature was closing in on me at mock speed, but to my surprise, it darted past and rushed to eat all the food I had been growing. I should have prepared for an event like this. Luckily, they're very susceptible to heavy ground tremors. Stomping the ground hard enough was enough to knock them off balance and attack them before they could run away. Drops phone, please don't get cracked. Uruguayan dog walkers on Tuesday. What? Spicy Wyvil. Wyvil. Fiery Lutil. Similar to the fire spewing Scorn Bee, this creature feeds on the nectar of the type of extremely spicy flower and in turn it gains the ability to discharge that buildup of spiciness at will with a chemical reaction that occurs immediately as the discharge leaves its body. Like the other members of the Lodi family, I am simply repulsed by them, though I will compliment the sense of fashion this creature has. White on purple is a wonderfully suave choice. Looks like the previously indistinguishable variants of the Wyvils have evolved to be different colors now. This should make it easy to tell them apart. Shitting Wyvil. Oh, there he is. Sh okay. Gassy Loodle. This Loodle is able to release, like, disgusting gas from its uh, will. A will with the instant fills the room. Forcing this gas from non-toxic to quotations such as myself, though I would prefer not to have to deal with the stench. Another classic Bikman planet moment. These things have appeared on every trip to the planet so far. They like to pick up and steal random things we're trying to carry back, whether it be garbage, weird sperm. What? What? What's the chat? What's that mean? S P E R M? Sperm coated artifacts? Or this time the NFTs we're seeking? Also, watch out for the disgusting ass blast tax. What does that acronym mean? Waluigi Wog. Astronomical Wally Hop. Finally, a familiar sight in this hellscape. <clears throat> so I thought. <clears throat> What I initially presumed to be a Wally Hop, similar to the ones from my home dimension, I soon discovered it was actually an entirely different species of Amphitubber altogether. It was made ever so apparent to me when I crossed an attack and was blown away by the initial velocity this creature took when jumping. The speed at which this creature falls back to the surface is enough to cause an explosion on impact. <clears throat> These fucks. These fucks stand the test of time being one of the greatest. Greatest pains in my ass. These monsters are the worst, the worst of the worst. I take pleasure in taking these out of these monsters so I could ever get over my fear of them. I really wish these monsters stayed in the deep corner of my brain where they belong, but apparently I don't even get that luxury. Amphituber family, Wolpole. 
Wapole. Familiar sight by the cosmetics to think that I've traveled through so many universes yet there's still always something familiar to find to anchor myself with. Surely an instance interesting after studying all the documented life in my own dimension, you'd think I'd be bored, but seeing how familiar creatures from different dimensions have evolved and prospered in their own similar yet unique ways is something I really enjoy doing. A Wapole from the deep, where are the most? From the coast? Come to think of it, do they even sleep? Give me a break, it's hard to write for these monsters. They're pathetic and useless, that's it. Even so, they do have a cool hat. Fleshy candy pop, but peach puff. Unlike other candy pop buds, this flower appears to infect creatures with its spores. These candy pop buds could be an explanation of the strange bipedal spore of a bit creature I found on this planet. It's also very smooth at to a touch. I initially decided to pluck a petal off one of these to sleep on, but sadly these petals secrete a disgusting and likely poisonous white ooze when touched for too long. Vile specimen. We found a new type of shroom Bickman inside of the cave today. The cave we found them is actually the remains of the whole of Oswogs. Terrifying place full of frogs has given me terrible PTSD that is only triggered by riveting. My sister says they also unintentionally visited this cave on her adventure here. It seems that all-powerful bitch that destroyed the Rosa ship fled to this place and built a castle on it using dark energy. Perhaps these shroom Bickman are a leftover byproduct created by this dark energy. Skitterwana. A boreal skitter leaf. Just like the skitterlings from my home dimension, the serrated, serrated edges of these skitterlings allow them to move at absurd speeds. But the frayed nature of its body causes it to be slow to a near halt in water. I've always been a big fan of salad. Maybe I'll try eating some of these guys instead of resorting to basil board meat for once. <laughs> Lol. Common Glussy. I didn't even have to say it, chat. I didn't even have to do it. Uncommon glow cap. This glow cap has some really strange colors, but I can't say I dislike how they look though. The thin pink stem of the yellow cat reminds me how I used to look before I repigmented my hair. I wonder if there's a parallel dimension version of myself out there who's still got blonde hair. I wonder if I'm the only one of myself in the infinite universes that discovered dimensional transport. I haven't seen any copies of myself show up at the shop yet, so I must be alone with this ability. Mushroom cultivation is a lot of work. I envy these wild fungi that just have enough moisture and nutrients to fruit on their own. No spore syringes, no agar, these are all natural. Ro Rouge dandelion, pink hawk's beard. What I originally thought to be a rare pink dandelion I actually turned out to be an imposter. The pink hawk's beard is a close relative of the dandelion. The two plants are very similar. However, where the dandelion has evolved to grow in unforgiving climates, these plants adapt slightly worse to harsh environments. Though, from what I've seen, they do seem to thrive in the cold of this planet. Maybe the information on my scanner is entirely accurate for this dimension. Whoa, a rouge colored dandelion. That's fucking rad, actually. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret, I would feel nostalgic upon seeing this planet, but sadly, the overbearing thought of perishing on some uncharted planet just makes me feel homesick instead. Ding dong, the wicked bitch is dead. <laughs> it's a shame the bitch didn't die 87 years ago. It's a shame the IRA didn't kill the bitch. Jesus. OS Beast. I, oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Wally Beast. The horrors I have witnessed today are things I may never recover from. This creature defies my current understanding of biology, and after this is all over and I go back home, I'm still going to wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night thinking about this beast. The mother frog. Mother of frogs, frog mother. She's a real bitch, occasionally spewing creatures out of her ungodly hole. The coloration of it and the stalks of her hair, her eyes, it's disgusting. I pray for any adventurer who finds themselves fighting this monster. I can't tell if watching it explode upon death is satisfying, grotesque, or hot. Okay. Memory Jogger. You think this is a game? Do you think this is a game? Use this card when a frog is played... I can't fucking read that, dude. Trust not the pink one, his soul has been corrupted. Memes can melt the brain. Oh hey, I remember seeing this card on my first visit to this planet. Back then, my associate... Gamar took the card for himself as a souvenir. I don't know how it wound up back on this planet, and I especially don't know why it's an NFT now. Oh, also, this is really important for us to remember regarding these caves. The Ouija ship said that the icons he shows us before we enter mean the following. First one means wild Bikmen are present, so we should bring less Bikmen into the caves so they'll show up. The second one means that there are NFTs buried in the ground, so we'll need some skeleton Bikmen to dig it up. The third one means that there are poisonous mushrooms in the cave, so we'll need some spore for Pikmin to get by. The final outcome means there are bodies of water, so we might need waterproof Pikmin to collect NFTs or keys inside those caves. Sickly white fluid, no, not the bodily kind, the matter most dark. I like this little guy, it looks funny, reminds me of my childhood. Gailey seems distinctly unfond of it. 
though, and says something about it reminds her of the dark energy or spectral particles encompassing radiant mana that she encountered on her last visit here. I still think it's a cute creature either way, though. Key to the next floor. The key to my soul, the key that lets us progress, a collecting spree. What a weird thing. This key looks like the key to the shack I found years ago. Back when I wasn't sure what the keys were for, but it turned out they could be used to unlock deeper sections of the cave. There are tons of these underground on the planet, and it looks like they've been here far longer than any of the NFTs we've been collecting. Sadly, they don't sell for anything, but as long as we collect them, we can go deeper to find more NFTs so I can collect all the keys I see. Balletta was cruel, cut off the head, stole the fuel, buried in frog hell. We found the remain of my old ship, the SS Rosa, inside of an OS beast and what was once the hole of OS Wogs. Oh, I get it. OS Wogs, like OS Frog, like the, like the emote, dude. I get it now. Well, five years have passed since my first track into that cave, but it still fills me with the same traumatic memories it always has. According to Gailey, she also wound up in this place on her previous visit to the planet, but due to the influence of a dark energy source, the cave had shifted, leading deeper segments that even I hadn't been to. Thinking back on her home and planet Gay Fruit have been really odd ever since the permaban on non no passing ships, but now each shop ship on the planet is the shape of a large woman, supposedly because it prevents space crashes, but if anything, they've been more frequent since then. Well, considering this is supposed to be the, um... This is supposed to be the part of the globe, uh, her head will probably unlock the other area. Alright, chat, who's ready for Gay 3? Give it up for Gay 3! Bup's Bluff. Parental advisory explicit content. Wait, this is Mario Galaxy. When you get a Grand Star. What the hell is going on here? <clears throat> Good morning. It should please you to know the Shroom Pikmin are lodged safely in my ass. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below and press half an A button to call Shroom Bickman out. Yo, Captain Toad, the treasure tracker! Captain Toad, what happened? Looks like he's been turned into an NFT. I can still hear his guttural screams, however. This is, uh, Pikmin. Not Pikmin, sorry. This is Pokemon. This is Pokemon music. Uh, from Ash the Ash Road. Chat, look at that. Look at that jellyfish. Look at that butt boy. So the landing zone is different. So this is got some uh, <clears throat> distant spring here. Only ten, huh? Why is there a floating Mario head? Okay. All right, you hold on to the shroom boys in case I need them. You're the water one, aren't you? Yep. <clears throat> Okay. Get some stuff. Is that a banjo head? That is a banjo head. <laughs> what? What? It wants me, but it can't get me. Cool place. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, this is. We started where the yellow Pikmin usually are to find. And you can see because we're at 95. Oh, you're. What are you? You're a, okay. You're a bumbling snitch bug. The one that grabs captains. Terrible noise. Yo, we got blue buffs. We got blue buffs. What's the- Whoa, Jesus! Oh. Wow, that skeleton buff has unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. I think their undead nature allows them to easily find buried NFTs. That's great. You don't have to fucking jump scare me with it. Yep. Holy shit, look at the speed on this guy! They dug it up instantly, man! Like, 
there wasn't even a single moment of downtime. I thought it was like an enemy popping out of the ground. Like a snagrit. <laughs> IQ tester. Good stuff. Good stuff right there. 10% of goal. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's what this is. Oh, I see a flower over there, chat. I see a flower. New Pikmin species. Can I get over there? Uh, there's a weighted pad I have to press down. Okay, let's see what's going on first. Okay. Mido? Hmm? What? 135? Okay. Bro couldn't figure out how to block it. <laughs> Let's put Mido there. Hmm. Just to test the IQ. There's one in the water there as well. Okay. No, so far... So far, I'm, I, you know, I've been really enjoying this. It's funny, it's goofy, it's weird, but there's a lot of things that add difficulty and convenience over the actual, like, Pikmin game. Like, why are these... These Bulborbs are Todds. But they have, like, properties to them that make them different from Bulborbs. Don't go too far now. Nice job, Jackass. I gotta get rid of these fucking trolls, dude. Jellyfish. Die. Die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, we got another mushroom flower, so they can be above ground too. Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that... That's... What is that over there? Driving around that car, that cart. Oh, I know what it is. It's the bloister. It's the bloister. That's what it is. Because the balloon's like the ball we have to hit. The other one's a big jellyfish. Don't you love how I can identify the stupidest fucking things? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, crush. Come here. There's, they scream like Squidward when they get covered in water. Might as well get the tutorial out of the way while it's still possible to save them, right? And not another situation like before. Okay. Okay, I can use that flower to get more, uh... I can use that flower to get more mushroom boys. There's a pipe there. Need water, though. How much does it take to drop this? Oh, a Wario Wog. 235. Alright. You see that? I got a Wario log there. Okay, alright. No need for panic. There was 15 I can get out of there, so... Well, the boys are gonna do that, so... Uh, one way or another, I'll get them into this flower, I promise. Come on. Here we go. Nice. 
There's, there's gotta be purple Pikmin now. There has to be. But they're obviously not going to be purple Pikmin. But you see how the attributes have been mixed and matched? So the skeleton Pikmin are immune to fire and they dig stuff up out of the ground. The, the mushroom Pikmin, uh, they're poisonous. I assume they're poison. No, they have yellow Pikmin throwing arcs, but they're immune to poison as well. So they're mixing and matching them. So it's not just complete like reskins. That's kind of cool, actually. Kind of divvies up the rolls in a neat way. That said, I'm still not using the mushrooms unless I have to, so... Come on, bone lads. I got 25 of them. I don't like using the Pikmin that require flowers because I can never get enough of them. Alright. Halfway through the day, gotta start getting through things. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta start getting through the wall here. Going all the way around. I bet there's a purple Pikmin flower on the uh, all the way on the other side of that that thingy. Come on, team. I see mushroom clouds there. Okay. We can regroup now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything here? There's a banjo head in the water. The day is over half done. Okay. Alright, go time. Don't go near the banjo head. Come here. Come here. Yeah. You want the big suck? I'll give you the big suck. I think they... I can't tell if it's knocking the troll off of them or not, though. I can't tell with that at all. Oh. He's coming. Yep. Get his ass. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Oh. <laughs> it's just a water dumple. Nothing scary about that. Destroy the child. Yo! I cannot believe that worked. Come here, Mario. Come here, Mario. This flower right here. That's the one. That's the one. Right there. Yo, was that pasta? Oh, it is pasta. It's pasta everywhere. I just noticed. Hey, Scoob. What's that weird gray flower growing in the open area over there? It looks similar to the ones we got from the Shroom Bikman from. Maybe you should try throwing some Bikman into this one, too. By the way, what? What, what do you say? I missed that. Could you repeat that? New boys. Wake up, new Pikmin just dropped. <laughs> Moy boy. Dunk. He's got the, the bonk sound. Baba booey. Baba booey. These, <laughs> these Pikmin appear to be less powerful than other Pikmin, but they seem very heavy. Additionally, scans of these Pikmin reveal that they are related to some type of rock Pikmin. Interesting, I've never heard of a rock Pikmin. How did this data get here? When they land, they make uh, they make the horny bonk sound. Couple moy boys. Couple moy boys, watch. How heavy are you? Ten. Shortcut open. Nice. 
Alright, get that going, would you? You boys come with me. Okay. That's progress, that's progress. I need water. I need Pikmin that can survive in water. Which are somewhere on this map. Hmm. It's a school night! I right, time to throw rocks. <laughs> oh, that's the simple things in life, chat. It really is. <laughs> you really can't get up there? I can't get it. Well, shit. Oh, I see it. I see it, Chad. I see it over there. You see it? There's a green unyacht, and there's an electric fence, which means the Moy guys are probably immune to electricity. They have to be, right? Hmm. Well, we're gonna wrap up the day and try it again. They probably sink like a rock. Yep. It's not like I didn't see that coming. Get these more. We're getting more bone boys. Is all. The more we get, the more bone boys we get, the better. No troll version though. No troll version. Okay. Let's do a quick assessment of the situation, shall we? We get a hole up there. Some banjos. Scoop them up. Okay, I need to figure out how to get that, too. I'm pretty sure I need the mushroom Pikmin for it. They could probably reach it. Yeah, and I have to assume that... Oh, I frequently think every now and then of the glorious fruit of the noble hen. Eggs! Eggs! e double g s eggs. Okay. My knowledge of eggs is tremendously mm -hmm. high. Uh-huh. Scoob, look over there. It looks like there's a new Bickman species running around. I would advise you to indoctrinate them as quickly as possible. We have shit to do today. Okay, stop singing now, please. Chat, those are smoky progs. No, that thing walks like squibber noises. No cap. That Those are smoky progs as, as Bickman. And they can do water. Okay. I got a game to figure out next time. That's for sure. Oh, that's a... L Whoa. They got a whole goddamn squadron down there. Oh, I saw the freeze flame dudes as well. Because, you know, they're... they're, they're co in the code, they're written... Their name is like trees or something, right? I, right, I did get something. The IQ tester. Moy boys. No one died today. The end. Last time when Gailey and I visited this planet, it was a total mess. At first I thought Balletta might cause it, but Gailey told me that it always looked that bad. Okay. Alright. Shark just be in my DMs, but I ain't responding. We got new entries in the Biclopedia, though. We got Bump and Berry. Blue Cap Dwarf Sporvabid. These Sporvabid members are similar to Red Cap Sporvabid. However, they seem to be adapted to the cold tundras that make up a majority of strange plants' landscapes. They've evolved even quicker and hunt down prey with relative ease, though they seem to only stick around certain points, which leads me to believe they're territorial species. True to his origin, Blue Toad is faster than Red Toad. This buff can speed by like it's nobody's business, much like tactical... Much more tactical and stronger than his red counterpart. I was that kid who played Blue Toad in 3D World because I thought it was cool to be playing the hardest character. Didn't change the fact that I played the whole game alone, though. What do you mean the hardest character? Banjo Dumple. Ursa Lump. The Ursa Lump appears to be a severed head of a creature at first glance, but up close it's easy to see this is a voracious predator that the, uh, they are. They move with impeccable speed, but I'm personally more interested in their ability to bound into the air. If only I had some way to bound myself into the air. Maybe I could hitch a ride on a wally hop and 
No, that wouldn't work because I don't have my spacesuit. <laughs> There's something unsettling about seeing something you love change in a way that's familiar but alien. Banjo dumples are something I never wanted but are unfortunately a common monster. Don't underestimate what that knows do, Banjo. Dumples will snack on anyone and anything, but I wonder where does it even go? I don't know. Fly Mario head. What? You're gonna what? Fly for me? Amazing flying Betalian. The life on this planet never ceases to surprise me. Today I was minding my own business and suddenly out of nowhere this thing grabs me by the hair and starts carrying me around. At first glance I was excited at the potential to use this creature to my advantage but I soon realized he wouldn't put me down. My only option was to keep punching it until it let me go. Ever since that incident I've steered clear of any floating heads. Hmm. Keep your distance from that Italian. It will zoom around with a peaceful demeanor, but this monster is nothing but a troublemaker. There's nothing like trying to escape from its grasp. On the other hand, there's nothing like saving yourself from its grasp by force. I had to take matters in my own hands after Gailey must have not heard my high-pitched screaming. Okay. Squishy UBO. Sporvivid Sentry. This member of the Sporvivid family appears to float effortlessly on the wind. They're usually seen around other Sporvivid family members, but despite this, they also have been observed assisting other creatures. Conflicting reports have said the species may reproduce via infecting a non-Sporvivid host with its spores, but science has yet to confirm this. They have such a beautiful voice! I could just listen to them all day, but Gailey would rather shoot one down with a Bickman squad and laugh as it explodes into nothing. Sad face. Pissing Wavel. Indecent Loodle. This Loodle is simply vile. I just wanted to study the patterns of its apparel, but then I know where it turns towards me and blasts some disgusting wretched fowl and just flat out a poly watery substance. It's completely coated in my custom made Louis Von Pick Pick cardigan in the liquid. This thing clearly has no idea how much this costed. I was so furious I instinctively lunged at the creature and punched it square in its gross face, which was enough to knock it out. After that exchange, I luckily haven't seen any more of these things roaming around. This one fucking pissed everywhere. I got it on my shell. I did to walk around with the wet piss socks for the rest of the day. Stony candy pop bud. This candy pop bud appears to be genetically similar to a species of gray candy pop bud found in P201. Apparently these flowers can create a type of rock pigment. I've never seen one, but it seems preposterous to imagine solid rock could be made from organic matter such as this. I personally believe this rock can be merely be a hypercondensed shell made of triglycid triglycerides and cellulose. That Muiji, when Yuji used to, it built in scanners on the Moi Bikmin, reports of species called Rock Bikmin were displayed, so I think these Bikmin are mostly related to those guys. Whoops. Their heavy weights remind me of the Burble Bikmin I previously used, but these guys aren't nearly as useful in combat. Flukewana. Fluke weed. I heard of these plants before. Apparently their roots can be dug up and used as sustainable food source. These plants are relatives of the Pelopodi, which means they're extremely rich with nutrients, even more so thanks to the incredibly nutrient-rich soil of this plant. Delicious. I know you're hiding something. And I got the IQ tester. Therapy session. Hey Morty, I'm Pickle Rick. End of an era. <laughs> okay. No fucking way. He actually turned himself into a pickle. I can't believe it. What the hell? Somebody made this chat. Somebody made this. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm telling you, there's no fucking way. Alright, we're going back to Bup's Bluff. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Morning, gents. The Moy Bickman are lodged within the shroom ones in my ass. The two types are sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. You can call out the Moy Bickman by standing in the light beneath me and pressing half an A press. Where did that castle come from? The fuck? That wasn't there before, was it? Alright, hold on. Well, they have animations. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, nice. Baba Booey. All right, I need these boys. Just in case I need them. Forty-five. 
Come on, you shitheads. Alright. Well, actually, I should probably break them up at the objective mark. What? Gailey, has Scoob instructed you on DN? These nuts! Yeah! What? What was- what was that for? What? What was that for? I didn't even do anything! Alright. Alright, that's fine. So, now we get to play the game called Cross This Bridge. I'm just assuming these guys are immune to electricity. I don't actually know for sure. Okay. I'm gonna try it in a second. Don't do it, troll boys. Ooh, look at that. That's asshole behavior right there. Oh, that's omega asshole behavior. Stay right there. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Who made this? They're all dead. It's over. It's over for so many lives! I realized my folly pretty quickly. Brother, I'm walking. I'm gonna lose them if I do that. Finessed, baby. Finessed. Alright. Game time. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. Fourth of the way there. Fourth of the way there. right one more one more one more one more set one more set one more set one more set I can't mash my tricep will explode let me throw damn it I'm getting stuck on this pasta noodle. Yeah. Yeah. That's the end for you. Well, you're not waiting there. I feel like I've heard that sound effect before. Alright, you guys have to be immune to electricity, right? <laughs> okay. What about you guys? Okay. We've... We've reached a new dilemma. 
I really thought. I thought it was a fair guess. Okay. How about you? How about you, son? How about you? Are you immune to electricity? Well, better hope you are. Alright, I have learned something important today. And now I will utilize that information to do nothing. I don't have the right Pikmin to get that. That's what I've learned. How do I get this? Alright, well, unfortunately, I, I'm not getting those Bone Boys back over. So they're just gonna stay with uh, Scoob. They're just gonna stay with Scoob for the rest of the day. It's gonna be a solo effort. I need uh, 11 more Mushroom Fellas to get that. Come on. Come along, mushroom fellas. All right. Well, this ought to be a fun day. You know, Chad, I thought maybe that possibly I'd get the, you know, I thought it was a fair guess. You know, I thought it was a fair guess. But I guess walking in water is pretty powerful, so. I got blocked off. All right. Mushroom fellas. Get that. Okay, good. All right. Now it's just me, me, rock, and stone. The boys are back together again. So where are we going then? I guess over there, huh? There's a cave over there. Yeah, so I guess we're going over there. Get donked. Whatever you're about to do, I don't want to see it. Oh! Please not my rocks. Donk. Ah! 199 Perfidious Idol It splorted me, dude. Oh, well, looks like while they're doing that It's time for round two Battle never ends. Don't worry about it. I've learned my lesson. I don't think I'm getting in that cave without some expert finesse, aka drowning 30 Pikmin. But I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna have to wait for the mushroom fellas anyway, so. Don't worry, chat. I always have a plan. Yeah. I know you heard it complete, but we ain't done here. I heard a ding, I didn't hear a bell. Beaten into an inch of his life. And then spared. Fresh out of mercy though, baby. Yeah, clock out. I think if I do this fast enough, I can I can get it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright. 
It's a new one in the Piclopedia. So I gotta do this one cool trick. I swear that castle wasn't there before, though. Come on, mushroom fellas. Maybe the flowers will respawn at some point, but I can't really afford to lose too many of my, uh, my fellas. At least the Pikmin keep up with my speed easily. I don't have to fight that one, so... Come on over here. And just squeeze by these boys. Okay, squeeze by these boys. Oh, I actually are close enough to this. Okay. Wow, this pipe looks extremely cold, but I still hear the screams of abominations coming from it. Man, am I glad that they're in there and that we're out here. Okay. Alright, now watch as I perform what's called a impressive trick. All right, watch this. Don't tell me it's a school night already. Already? Oh, I'm scared. You know what? No, nope, I ain't even sweating it. I ain't even sweating it. I ain't even sweating it. We're not doing anything. Oh, that's coming down fast, actually. Oh, I'm sweating it all of a sudden. Kinda sweating it. Hmm. Who did it? Goodbye. God, you guys are just the smartest bunch of fuckers I've ever worked with. Okay. I got it, I got it. Uh... That's... that's buried. Okay, you gotta do it. Oh, it's an invisible wall! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's an invisible wall. You tricked me. You fucking tricked me. Come on, it's a school night. Hurry the fuck up. Hurry up, you dipshits. I'm not gonna scoop. I did it! I did it! I'm in there! Oh, yoy, yoy. I got 81 lads. That's a bomb rock. And I fully healed. Okay. Watch this. Yep. Fire Geyser is not stopping. Can you pick these up? I'd rather just get rid of them. Oh, they blow up fast. Okay. Spaghettios, my guy. I see a key. Okay. Let's just make a little safe haven, maybe, shall we? Remember, it said there's buried treasure in here. So, I'm, without the treasure radar, I'm gonna have to just, like scope. Scoop. 
Alright, game time. Is that spam ton? Oh, jeez! Ah! Ah, it's a jump scare! Don't drink the green goo! Alright, please pick up the scary PNG. Thank you. Thank you. Chat, you see that AI generated uh, Jeff the Killer? There are a few like that, actually, at this point in time. Where they, they get you for a second, then you like look at them and you're like, Oh, it's Anime Girl. You know what? One can take the hit for the benefit of all the others. You know what? Won't worry about him yet. I don't have a. I can throw rocks at him. So we'll see what I can do. You're gonna kill him instantly? Huh? But jellyfish can actually kill your Pikmin in vanilla. I just take a hell of a long time to do it. I don't have any more troll flowers, chat, because I literally left them behind. They, they're dead now. <laughs> they're, they're, they're dead now. It's not that funny, but it's just the way it is. No treasure, all right. No treasure. One dead. Two dead. Let the bodies hit the floor! The fire never stops, so only the fire-resistant Pikmin can actually do anything to them. It's a good touch. Okay. You can make those pretty easily, he says. It's not about how easy they are to make, it's about how they look like the image. But then, like, when your eyes adjust, you're like, oh, okay, it wasn't the image at all. It's kind of funny. There's still treasure on this floor. Alright. Here's the plan. Kill, 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 kill! Woo! Thomas? Just get the rock pipping up there already, damn it. Wait, the rock pipmen aren't strong, they're just heavy. He broke anyway. Okay, whatever. That's him, just like I know him. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying steamer. <laughs> That's all the treasure here. Okay. Ooh. Do you think the rock Pikmin can drink the green goo, or do you think the... I bet the... Let's, let's... Let's take a test. Test for green goo. Fuck. Oh, why is he so lengthy? All right, what about the rock Pikmin? What about you, Moy Boy? Can you drink it? Nope. Oh, he got sad. <laughs> he got sad, I'm sorry. 
Well, now I just feel bad. All right, well, good level one, good level one. It's all right, Chad. It's just, just one. It's just one, just one, just two, just two, only two, only two. Donk him. Yes. Yes. Destroy the child. Okay. A big old... Did my Pikmin fly out of bounds? Anything buried in here? Nope. Okay. Uh, 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 chat. <laughs> it's the antenna beetle. He's he's a backwards long jumper. Why are they? Why are they? Why is they Pepe sad coming out of the dandelion? Sad Pepe behavior. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay. Chat, where's that Mario line from? Where, where's that Mario line from? He keeps saying it. Do it. Fly for me. <laughs> he just keeps saying it. Oh, wait. Bad maneuver. Solved it. Okay. Die. How am I missing? Okay. <laughs> I gotta hit him with a rock. Oh, getting flashbanged by the sun. It's like, it's like in the tree, so it, whenever the wind blows, the tree is like, it's blowing. And then it's like, the, the kind of like, you know? You know what I mean? Some bullshit. All right. I don't think this thing can kill me, but I'm gonna have to throw rocks at it. Amazing. Just, just an all. Just a simple all. No, oh, I don't want this long boy anymore. All right, clean the shit out of the pipe. Get over there. Come on! I knew it. Okay. Well, you will leave you here until we figure out this. Okay. There's treasure in them their level. At least I assume there's treasure. I guess I just walk along the wall until uh, the white Pikmin are like, or the bone Pikmin are like, yeah. Find it, boys. Find it. If you go onto a floor that doesn't have treasure, there's no indicator without the radar. Nothing? Nothing? Ah, there it is. Yo! Yo! Is that PS1 Hagrid? <laughs> 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 
Look at him. In all his glory. <laughs> Bring him in. Bring him in, boys. Bring him in. Steady. Steady. I can't see. He's worth eight. Maximum. <laughs> okay. He's worth eight, dude. Eight whole quid. Drippy. Okay. Oh, chat. Is Final Fantasy 16 out? I guess it must be. Well, that doesn't interest me in the slightest. Good music. Yeah. I believe... I see, uh... Okay, I'm gonna bring the rock guys down with me. Yeah, there's a BLJ Mario down there. This is the Emergence Cave Floor 2 layout. So let's bring these guys. That should be enough. Okay. Alright. Okay. The demo? I thought the full game was out. Now this is what throwing rocks is all about. Oh, it just came out today. Oh, okay, so... Oh, he out of there. And just like that, is that more, 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 boys? Wow. Am I a genius or what? How many more? I came in here without a full, uh, you know, a full roster. Hold on, the key counts as treasure, so I gotta take that back. And when that goes back, if I hear the noise, it means we're done. And if I don't hear the noise, it means there's treasure buried somewhere. Alright. Get these bodies up there. Okay. No, uh, chat, I don't know if anyone answered. Uh, but where is that Mario voice clip, uh, from? The one where he's gonna fly for me. Where, where is that? Where's that from? I, I've never heard that before, ever. Did I get the other ones? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. We're gonna take a tour now. Mario teaches typing. Oh, okay. I guess that makes the most sense. Look, a pipe that continues down in the cave. Okay. Flea board text. There is a bit. There is a treasure in the floors. All right, time to get scoping. Come on. That was the first time Charles voiced Mario? Really? Wow, humble beginnings, huh? That is absolutely humble beginnings moment right there. All right, get that out of here. All right, find it, boys. Find it. Come on. It's gonna be small like Hagrid, isn't it? I'll be right on top of it. Come on. No? Okay, okay. Alright. Alright. 
do a little scoopy. Little scoopy. Oh. Where are you? Did I do a... There's treasure on this floor. I know there is. There is 100% treasure on this floor. <laughs> I just don't know where it is. Because the noise didn't play when the key went in, so there has to be another treasure somewhere in here. Hmm. Where are you? Maybe it's time to give up. Maybe it's time to leave. Go home. Be a family man. I don't got all fucking day. If I missed one, well, guess we're coming back when I got the goddamn radar. Come on, team. Oh, just get me the hell out of here. Frozen. Ooh. Oh, this looks neat. Oh, we got ice, uh, ice path from uh, Kogi's. Three keys? You're trying to fucking kill me. All right, I can now throw rocks. Ad hominem. Long. Hit it. Nice. <laughs> okay, that gets him out of the way. Is that a... Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oi. Oi. Why? Why is that the boulder? Okay, well... Alright. There's nothing to be concerned about. I have a plan. Cease that right now. Cease this godless behavior. <laughs> Saying Space Jam? That was terrible. That was so bad. I think I want to die. Alright, get the other one. Scooby Doo? This is Scooby Doo! Come on. You lived? Ow! How the fuck you live? All right, well, I got some work to do. I got some work to do. Objective one, destroy the child. Wow, graze that shit, come here. 
Oh my god, hold still. Oh! Okay. You're lucky. You're lucky. Oh. Oh, going for the kill. 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 What is happening? Oh, jeez. Bro. <laughs> Look how fast that toad's healing. Oh, miss me. Come here. Come here. Yeah. All right, now the hard part, but not actually the hard part at all. There's no enemies in the way, so. This is actually a Mushroom Fella mission, if you can believe it. The Mushroom Fellas can reach it. All right. That troll one's gonna get rammed, yep. Oh, I hit the- I hit the toad. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Chad, I just noticed the bucket is decorated in, uh, Zelda CDI, and Waluigi dabbing with his feet. He's- he's dabbing with his- what? All right, I got it. He's locked in. He's locked in. <laughs> Dialed in. And now he's dead. Go ahead, do it in your inhale. Yep, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Taste death. Taste death. Ne'er do well. And just like that, piss easy. That's, okay, hold on. That's a bit of a problem. All right, new plan. The mushrooms have done their job. It is now time to throw rocks. And a lot of them. Oh, okay, actually. If I hold... Yeah, if I hold this guy, I don't have to wait for him every, every time. All right, here we go. Easy. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Last thing I think I gotta do is bring the rest of the squad over. And then it's cleanup crew time. I gotta make sure I don't get jumped. No jump, no jump. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I got it. <laughs> so called free thinkers when streamer mentions a round stone like object that can be help, uh, held in the palm of your hand. <laughs> All right, let's not worry about the corpses. There's way too many corpses for collection duty. Let's just get the keys and move on with our lives. Please don't leave with that. I need that. Okay. 
Okay. Give me Scooby, would ya? Can you get him? Okay. There's Scoob. Don't worry about that. He's off screen. Out of sight, out of mind. Key two. Okay. Yo, he takes 20. I'd rather you didn't do that, my guy. But, sure. Oh, here it is. Well, that's not good. I need my rocks. Oh no, I need my rocks. Okay. Let's go get them. Get the bricks. Brick by brick. Okay. Problem number one. Get the key out of there, please. Okay. Alright. Now... Give me this back, would ya? Go, 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 go team, go team, go team, go team. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. If I can't see him, he can't hurt me. Nah, I really hope I got all the treasure on this floor. We'll see at the end in total, I suppose. Or if this gives me the treasure radar, which I feel like with the nature of this game, it's not gonna do that. It's gonna do that at the end. It's gonna give me the fucking post game. gonna give it to me in the post game. I'm just worried about it is all. I'm worried about it. Woo! 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 Okay. There'll be plenty of time to finish Joshy chat. I, I only have one world left. Don't worry. There's probably only one more floor anyway. Okay, there's the pipe. We can leave. See you later. Scoobert Dubert. 69. Famed namesake. That's him, alright. Alright, there's the noise. Uh, I have a map, right? There it is. It's up over here. Okay. I'm wondering what the name of that that larva is. I don't, I don't really like it very much. Okay. <sighs> time to go deeper. Okay. Boss time? Boss time, boss time, boss time. Uh, this is the Bogmire fight arena. <laughs> this looks kind of boss-like. What, what is it? What is it exactly? The Sarita's not very big. Don't be anything stupid, please. up 
Seems to always do three no matter what. It's actually easier to work with. Starting to smoke. That's it. Scooby-Doo cartoon cave, man. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look, the shaggy long legs. Oh my god. Drop some weird block of ice. Apparently, there's a caveman in it. Bring it for analysis, Scoob. You remember what happened last time, right, chat? You know what happened last time. No funny business. No funny business. I'm watching you. Oh boy, I'm glad he's frozen in there and we're out here. Are you serious? Are you telling me the ship referenced it right at the start? Man from the Stoned Age. Am I glad he's frozen in there and that we're out here and that he's the sheriff and that we're frozen? What? <laughs> out here and that we're in there and I just remembered we're out here. Hmm, I think I can use the essence of this caveman to make your punches more powerful. Oh, thank you. Indeed, it was a success. Now you can form a triple punch. Additionally, you now have the strength to pick up TNT blocks and those blue eggs. Pick them up, simply walk into them. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes! And now I can pick up egg. Oh! Life is good. Life is good. Okay. Return to Twitter. But hold on, that wasn't what I was looking for. Oh, I did get everything. Okay. I did it. Four out of four. <laughs> Triple punchy. Bop's bluff. Look at the bops, it's snowing bops. Literally over. Look at that! Look at that! I got in there with a second remaining. I'm so sick of that Pepe giggle every time any of them do anything. Okay, I'm supposed to be looking for the part that takes me to the next area, but I can't seem to access it. At least I don't know where it is right now. I seem to be missing something. I'll have to go back and see. What do we do today? Good stuff, good stuff. Oh no. The skeleton population. Oh man. Not good. Hey, this is Goddard. I'm messaging to let you know that I've recently been repaired fully. After collecting me last time, Jimmy took me back and fixed me at his lab. You're a dog. Okay. Alright, shot. Now's a good time to stop, if any. So let me make a save state, even though it didn't work last time. Not 
onto a file. Just in case. I don't usually use save states. But they're just kind of a backup in case something goes horribly wrong. Just keep suffering, stop suffering. <laughs> the One Piece is real! It's real! Alright, chat. Well, this was... I don't know what to call this. An experience? An adventure? I'll tell you what it was, though, for sure. A good time. It was a good time. Can I, uh... I don't think I can. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I enjoyed this chat. I know it's goofy, it's silly, but it's like actually a solid Pikmin game despite that. So, I want to play more. It's actually like really good. Straight up. No, no cap. No cap, no cap. For real, for real. He be telling nothing but the truth. Can I not control the dude? Hmm. Uh, why is it showing coordinates? <laughs> okay. Alright, chat. That's all for this now, though. I will definitely play more of that. I will definitely play more of that. Maybe even on Saturday, honestly. After, uh, after Shady Trial. Because that's great. I enjoy Pikmin, and that was definitely... That was definitely the most Pikmin I've played in a while. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed too. Because you'll be seeing more of it, like it or not. <laughs> Don't worry about it.